Keep your wits about you, minion. This glacier's run by abandoning. Torture play We play games like Dodge and Don't Get Dunked into the Pool of Acid. I was really good at the first one. Attention, people of Pandora. Handsome Jack here, offering a million bucks to whoever brings me the head of the Vault Hunter who just arrived in Liarsburg. Oh, and I'm still offering a reward for Roland, the mass murdering leader of the Crimson Raiders. Good hunting, bandits! shows up. I must have been horrifyingly cruel to puppies in a previous life to deserve this kind of treatment. I say, Vault Hunter, could you kill Flint's men for me? I'm gonna be the last thing you stop! I've got a proposition for you, Vault Hunter. You give up, we'll just shoot you in the head. It'll be quick, clean, and a hell of a lot less painful than what handsome Jack will do to you. I suppose I am in your debt now, aren't I? Come to my shack and I shall restore Claptrap's sight. First, I shall shut off the electrical fence for you. Please stay back, Vault Hunter. Let Claptrap go first. I knew Hammerlock would come around eventually. Me? <laughs> Two bullets in a mag! Two cannibal midgets in a fat guy's Apologies, but when Claptrap speaks, I feel my brain cells committing suicide one by one. I shall be out directly. A pleasure to meet you, Vault Hunter. I am Sir Hammerlock. At your service. I came out here to research the bully moles for my almanac. Prince Men trapped me on this glacier. Many thanks for disposing of them, by the way. Oh, it's time to wreck the run of handsome Jack and defeat Captain Fence Bandits. Well done. Yeah, the... the robots 
Shots I, please. Guns! I got them, you need them. Later, Volta! Should do it. <laughs> I am alive. Oh dear, he's talking again. Megan! Now I've got my eyesight back, and you're far uglier than I remembered. Time to join up with the Crips and Raiders and Sanctuary. This glacier's full of nothing but murderers or jerkbags, like that hammerlock dude. I'm standing right here, dude. Now that Liasburg is cleared, I might as well turn on the main power. This town's full of things that may be of use to a go-getting slayer of men like yourself. Minion, roll out! I see our fearless leader Jack is looking for you. Charming fellow, isn't he? Spouts drivel about bringing peace to the frontier, then shoots unarmed men, women, and children. Ah, I'm spouting exposition again, aren't I? Apologies! Ah! Resistance must have disconnected it before they left the sanctuary. I'd planned to post some jobs for you. Ah well, just speak to me instead. So uh, enjoying Lyersburg? This town used to have a spectacular amount of hustle and or bustle before its denizens fled the sanctuary to escape Jack's army. Most of them, anyway. Captain Flint's men killed anyone who stayed. No, Captain Flint. He killed him. The one in Liarsburg? I see no reason. The monks should lollygag about the place, disrespecting the women. If you could clear the town of them, that would be most difficult. The objectives on your HUD pertain to your active mission. You can change your active mission by using the mission log in your Echo device. still alive to celebrate your victory, but still, well done!
advice about raiding peaceful cities in the future. Hopefully. Please make Captain Flint's death as prolonged as possible, would you? Quite the douche. If you're to survive out here for any length of time, you'll need yield. I humbly suggest that you don't Pick the elevator up there. <laughs> Greetings. Do you feel any bullets? choice.
hijack the train that runs through the dust. If all goes well, we should get to Sanctuary in a day's time. Hyperion hasn't diverted any troops from New Haven to pursue us, and the Sandstorm has devoured their nearest frontier town. We just need... Oh! Damn it! Everyone, oh. get away from the windows! Ah. You've discovered one of Helena Pierce's audio logs! She was a lieutenant in the Crimson Raiders, the anti-Hyperion resistance. I'd be very interested to know what became of her. If you could find the rest of those audio logs, I would be more than happy to pay you for them. your name? Pierce. Well, Miss Pierce, and please don't tell me it's Mrs. Pierce and break my heart, this train doesn't belong to you, so why don't you turn around and face me, pumpkin? This train was commandeered legally under the... Holy nutballs! <laughs> what happened to your freaking face? Let's just get this out of the way. Yes, most of my merchandise was ripped from the hands of dead adventurers. <laughs> 